I'm Rebecca Gilmore and I'm assistant principal cello of the Virginia Symphony Orchestra. <laughs> I'm from North Carolina and I began playing the cello at maybe about the age of three. I have musical parents, so it was sort of, my mother's a ch professional cellist, so it made sense that I got a cello. And my dad plays clarinet and I think he agreed that the cello was appropriate for me. And um, I studied in North Carolina for a while and then I moved on to Indiana where it's really cold but a really great big school with wonderful teachers like Tsutsumi and Starker. And, um, but after many winters of being snowed in and below freezing temperatures, I say this kind of funny because I loved being there, but I moved on to Texas and studied at Rice University. I think I'd have to say that my favorite composer is Mahler. Um, Mahler and I go way back, but I also uh, I love other kinds of music, I have eclectic interests like I like to turn on B-52s, or I like the Beatles because you can understand the lyrics. I love Sarah McLachlan, um, but I think Mahler and I go way back, which is an interesting story because uh, I auditioned for, uh, for my local AFFM, Musicians Local, and won the chance to go study uh, for a summer at the Congress of Strings, which actually no longer exists. Um, but there, I was able to play Mahler's first symphony, and I fell in love with Mahler, and I think I had those moments in music where I said, that's what I want to do. So here at the Virginia Symphony, we have a new musician-driven initiative where we um, have various small groups of musicians go out into the lobby, maybe 45 minutes before the concert, and just mingle with the audience. Um, it's been rewarding for both the audience members. I can see that they light up when they see musicians that they've seen far away for so long. Um, and the musicians light up too because they get a connection with the audience that they wouldn't get otherwise. Um, and one example of that was that our first lobby greeting we went out and our principal cello, he, uh, he was spotted by somebody and they said, guess what, our last name is the same as yours, and we've seen you far away for 20 years, and now we're seeing you up close, and he was pretty excited about it. So in Hampton Roads, which is Norfolk, Virginia Beach, Chesapeake, Newport News, all of these cities, um, I enjoy all the local farms, uh, the local restaurants, the local artisans. We have a really creative community here, um, along with the military community, and we all just kind of mix and mingle and it's a wonderful place to live. I've lived here a long time. I've started a string quartet here in Bridget Quartet and other than that my interests are my family and um, genealogy and gardening, nutrition, fitness, you know, because musicians are little athletes, right? These little, little athletes um, and it, it takes stamina to keep doing what we do. So. Oh, that's what I enjoy in Hampton Roads. So when I have a cello on my back and I'm walking through the airport, um, sometimes people say to me, uh, is that a guitar? And of course I have to say it's a cello and then sometimes I have to say that the cello has the in pin and we sit to play. Um, but, and also it makes people nervous when uh, cellists get on the airplane and you always have to tell the stewardess I bought a ticket and they still sometimes have a little anxiety, but if you work with them and you tell them that truly it will fit, it does fit in the seat, and you show them how it can strap in and that you need the extra long strap, it's kind of a zoo to get on an airplane, but um, uh, it's, it's a fun way to travel with your instrument. Make sure it's safe and right beside you. So I thought maybe one more thing I might touch on as a musician and having been a musician for a long time is performance anxiety. Um, we take auditions, we perform, um, and even musicians get uh, performance anxiety when they go out to lobby greet. Uh, so I guess what I want to say about uh, performance anxiety is how we deal with it. Um, one, first of all, is to be really, really prepared. And we all know that. 
because if you're really prepared, you won't be anxious about it. And this is true of many uh, things that we do in life, right? So if you do anything new, be very prepared. Maybe another uh, thing that you can that you can control when you're nervous is just breathing. And for woodwinds and brass, this is essential. String players actually, you know, they're like little newborn babies. You have to kind of hit them on the back so they remember to breathe sometimes. But um, yes, it's uh, essential to breathe. Maybe belly breathe. Uh, maybe if you've taken a yoga class, you, you know what it is to breathe a little bit slow, more slow and uh, more deep. Um, and actually I recommend yoga for all instrumentalists and uh, singers, but I think that and just a mindset, um, if you know that you have a solo performance, just uh, if your mindset is that you put yourself in that space when you're in your practice so that you're actually um, performing what it would feel like to do the solo, really go for it as if it was the solo so that you have that exercise of how that would be and keep breathing. That's it.